Doctors typically refer patients to hospice care when they have a terminal illness because oftentimes family and friends aren't equipped to handle that transition. But there's a team that is. New specialist in Koyo Uyamba spent time with some hospice patients and the team of people who walk that end of life journey together. A journey indeed from what nurses and patients tell me. And in that journey when there are no medications strong enough to ease the pain nor touch gentle enough to heal the broken heart, there's music. I had a friend in the hospital and I went to play for her. She told me later that someone down the hall buzzed the nurse's station and said, would you please send in the angel? I must have died and gone to heaven. This was heavenly music. It couldn't have come from earth. Peggy Can has been certified to use music for healing and transition, an art form, she says, that requires being in tune with her patients. The music I offer is simple music. I'll watch their breathing and it's almost like watching a conductor. If their breathing slows, the music slows and the patient is my conductor for the music. But I felt like I was in another realm. I didn't feel like I was here. It was like I was lifted into another realm. Virginia Yeager spent the last 10 months of her life here at Greenwood Manor, living with a mysterious adrenal gland illness. Her only escape, music. Peace, it gives me peace. A lot of the problems are because people are not able to sleep or to relax and get a good night's rest. Uh, life is much more worthwhile if a person can get a good night's sleep. Vernon Nelson cared for Virginia's husband here before he passed away years ago. She says part of her job is helping her patients and their families move forward through the natural process of life. A process, Virginia says, people are reluctant to accept. A lot of people don't have the right attitude toward death. It, it, there's a lot of fear. But I woke well, up with a bad headache and I was shaking. And I know and several cases here where the person no, wants to go and they should have died a long time ago, but the family, the husband, wife, or children will not let them go. It's not a sad profession. In my Nurses case, like Jody Dustin work hard to create a positive for environment for their patients. That's are great. The patient and the family is the driver. You're there to give the directions. And if they don't want to go down a certain path because they're not ready, then maybe you can just try to find a detour to go down another path until they're ready to take the next path. The philosophy is that the music provides a healing environment and the patient does what they need to do. So I can't judge and project what I think they ought to do. I just provide the music and the healing environment. Peggy Can carries her healing harp and songs to 20 patients a month throughout the Utah Valley. Patients like Arlen Jesperson, who suffers from Parkinson's disease. But there are a lot of people that have way more challenges than I do. I've got the peace comes from heaven. And if I can bring that and usher that in, then that's very satisfying. Hope like an ocean in my soul. Nkoyo Iyamba, KSL News.